Hi, it's Imogen Lample from Inside Out Style, coming to answer your colour and style questions. First one in my lucky dip today comes from Ruth, who said, I just watched your post about fluttering necklines and how matching your jawline is best. I don't wear the type of necklines I would look best in due to modesty reasons. How does wearing something under a V-neck or a scoop neck affect the ideal neckline of the scoop or V-neck? Can I use necklaces over a boat or crew necks to get this ideal neckline instead? And the answer is yes. Simple answer is yes. So if you want to wear a higher neckline, I mean, you can still look for a, a, a kind of like you have a V-neck, say, you could still look for a narrow, like a, a not a, a deep V, but a narrower V. I mean, ideally, the neckline is kind of the shape of the jaw from the base of the ears and that sort of distance as well. But if that is uncomfortable, comfortable for you for modesty reasons. No reason why you can't create that neckline using a longer necklace or pendant. So a pendant's going to create more of a V, but a necklace will create more of a scoop. So really it is quite easy to do this. Just look at your balance points. Make sure that the necklace or pendant goes to your first balance point. So do check out the blog. So your first balance point is the length of your face, same distance down from the base of your chin. So for most people, it comes at the top of the cleavage on the breastbone, uh, but you can always do your own measurements. I have got blog posts about that and how to do it. So absolutely, you can use scarves, you can use necklaces to create that illusion. Uh, so it is not too hard uh, to find that. Uh, so yeah, don't think that you have to only wear. So if you want to wear a high neckline, so I always suggest if you are wearing a neckline that's really the le a less flattering neckline, and look, you know, not every perfect garment is out there and sometimes we have to settle for things where the neckline's not as great as it could be. There are things I do where either I'll put a really big chunky necklace over the top of it so you don't really see the necklace, the neckline, or I'll put a scarf on and that covers the neckline up. Or if you have it in a more skin color, so it could be, you know, something like a pinkish of your skin. So depending on your sort of skin enhancer pink, not too dark, then when if you put something a little bit, you know, or you have your undertop like that, that you have that in your kind of skin color, then it isn't going to kind of interfere too much with creating that kind of nice length and uh, height through the head and neck. So do think about kind of, you know, like wearing that underneath piece, the piece that's the high neckline in something that blends fairly well with your skin as well just as a little idea if you want to wear the lower neckline over the top and be covered or just wear a top and you know with a high neckline and create that you know other neckline with your with your um with your jewelry so with the high neckline ideally go for your second balance point that's usually just underneath the collarbone which is fairly high up here or you can have a collar like this which is really high and it's not to do with my neckline